Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm doing a tutorial on Spleg, the plugin. Spleg is basically Spleef except with eggs. And you throw the eggs at other players, try to hit the blocks under them to knock them off of the floor. And with this plugin you can have as many floors as you want, you can have as many arenas as you want, and everything regenerates after the games are over. And there's also signs that the players can click, so it's a really cool plugin. And I'll show you how to install it and everything like that. Okay, but this plugin requires world edit. So if you don't have that, download that. That'll be in the description. So go ahead and drag that to your plugins folder. I already have it though, so I'm not going to do it. And come to the link in the description for Splag. Click download. Alright, let the page load. Alright, click download again. And this will download the plugin. So let the plugin download, then drag it to your plugins folder of your Minecraft server. So I'll do that now. Just drag it in there. And here it is. Okay, so once you have that in World Edit, restart your server and just start it up. Alright, so it should say done. You can minimize that or close out of it. But inside your plugins folder, you should see a new folder called Splag. If you go to the config, and you should see settings that you can change. Auto start. You can change the amount of players to auto start a game. So I'm going to change mine to two. That means two players. Once two players join, the game will start counting down and it will start. You can change that to whatever you want. Auto update. This will. This means that if you set it to true, then the plugin will automatically update itself. In the economy, you can change that. Once you're done, save it and restart your server again. If you go back to the page with the splag that you downloaded it from and you scroll down you should see the permissions. You're going to want to give this to your groups, your default group or any other groups that you want to be able to play. So if you give this to your groups then they'll be able to join any splag games. So go ahead and give that in. You can also give full to your VIP group or donating group, whatever group you want. This will allow players to join a game that's full. Alright, so once you're on your server, you're going to need two things. An arena with as many floors as you want, and a lobby. Now the first thing we have to do is set our lobby spawn point. So go inside your lobby, anywhere, and type the command slash spleg, set lobby, and hit enter. And it says you have set spleg lobby. Now go over to your arena, and we're going to type the command that allows us to create the arena. So that is slash spleg create and then the name of the arena that you want to call it so I want to call mine arena 1 it says map has been added and created okay so now we're gonna add our floors depending on how many you have we're gonna start with the first one and this is the most highest one so the top and to do this you need world edit like I said to type slash slash wand to get out your wand tool and we're gonna have to select two positions left click to select your first one go all the way across from it and right click to select your second this makes sure that we select the whole floor by going diagonally across from it so once you have both of them selected type slash splag add floor and then the name of the map that you called it so I called mine arena one hit enter and it says floor one add it to map so you can add as many as you want. I have one more floor, so I'm going to go ahead and add that. So I'm going to select my first corner and go all the way over to my next one. And right click to select my second position. And now we're going to type the same command in. It's just the same exact command. Hit enter. It says floor 2 added. So if you have another floor, just type the same command in and select your points. And then you'll be good to go. So now, the last part is setting our spawn points. So go to your highest floor where you want them to spawn and type the command slash spleg set spawn the name of the arena and then next and then hit enter. 
So you you can add as many as you want by typing in the same command. And it goes spawn two. If you type the same command, it'll be three. And I'm just gonna add four for mine. You can add as many as you want. And once you're done with that, you are done with your arena. It is ready to play, and all you have to do is type slash reload. This will reload your server, or you can restart your server. Either one's fine. But just do that. The reload will take a little while, so try not to mess anything up by typing any commands. Just wait for the reload to be finished. And it will finish, and then your arena will be ready. So now inside your lobby, or wherever you want really, I'm going to show you how to add a join sign. Just place down your sign wherever you want. And then the first line, put bracket, S, P, bracket. So it should look like that. And then the second line, you're going to type the name of your arena. So mine was called Arena 1. Type in your name of Arena on the second line. Then click Done. And there you go. You have a join sign. And this is all for this tutorial. If you liked it and it helped, subscribe and give it a like. Peace out, guys.